Pronouncing Rabbit, and welcome to another weekend edition of Pagan Perspective. This week's question has to do with scrying, so let me begin by reading the question. I was wondering about scrying. I saw on another channel that, although most people scry with water, crystal, and mirrors, it's also possible to scry with clouds, grass, and other places like that. What are your view on this? Have you ever scried in abnormal things? How would do you scry? Thanks so much. Let me begin with the last question. How do, uh, how would you scry? I'm not very good at scrying and I don't do it very often. I think it's because I'm really not patient enough and not persistent enough. I do have some friends who are very, very good at it. But if I'm going to do divination, I prefer to use one of the more active forms of divination like tarot card reading rather than scrying. So when I scry, how do I do it? How, do I, how have I seen other people do it? Well, first, like all forms of divination, scrying involves a shift of consciousness. It's what Starhawk talks about, starlight vision or ritual consciousness. It's really difficult to describe to someone, but if you've experienced it, then you know what I'm talking about. So if I were scrying, I would begin by getting my stuff together. If I was going to use a candle, if I were going to use scry with coals, I'd build a big fire to let it die down to coals. I think I still have a black mirror somewhere around the house. I'd bring it out. Anyway, get my stuff together so I don't have to get up and get something in the middle of this. Ground and center. Quiet my mind. Try to enter a, a sort of quiet, meditative state. While I was gazing, not really at, but through the object that I was scrying on. So when I do uh, candle flame scrying, I'm looking at the flame but I'm focusing my eyes through it. I'm looking at it very softly, sort of almost a little out of focus. Uh, when I have scried, I have never you know, seen a, an actual image or seen you know, words in the flame or, or faces in the, the black mirror. Uh, it's nothing as dramatic as the special effects that you see in the movies and the TV shows. But I have gotten general impressions. Um, so that's, that's how I do scrying when I do it. I normally use a flame. Like I said, I have used black mirrors. I've used basins of water. I recommend if you're going to use a, a bowl or basin of water that you use a dark bowl and put something shiny like a coin in the bottom of it that you're going to focus on so that uh, you're looking through the water, and the, the scrying is going to happen on the surface of the water, but your eyes are actually focused through it to the, the coin that's on the bottom. Um, have I ever scried with abnormal things, you know, things other than what they talk about in the books? No, I don't think so, not in a long time. I probably have done some sort of informal scrying with clouds. I mean, this is something that most everybody has done to lie on the ground outside on a, a pretty day and look up at the clouds, or a stormy day and, and look at the clouds in a sort of relaxed, detached kind of way, and to be able to imagine or to see pictures and images in the clouds that this cloud looks like a. Um, so yeah, I have I've used something like that. Um, I think that uh, it is very possible to scry with grass. I've never heard of using grass, but I suppose to look out at a field and the wind is going to be blowing, getting the grass, or, or I'm thinking of something like a wheat field, I guess, uh, causing it to wave and, and change shape. But any sort of thing like that, that does not have a definite picture, like tarot cards have definite symbolic pictures on them. They wouldn't be very good for scrying. Perhaps the, the back of a tarot card, maybe. But uh, anything like that that doesn't really have an image, but may have some 
rather abstract shifting images like clouds or smoke or uh, fire or coals or even the surface of water. So, um, I don't know. I, I hope that that's answered your question that uh, yes, you can scry with all sorts of things and so try it and see what works, see what you have handy and if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, well, maybe persist with it a while and then at some point um, try something else. Hopefully you'll be good at scrying, but if you're not, um, don't give up because there are other ways to do divination, like pendulum and I Ching and tarot cards. Anyway, this is uh, Dancing Rabbit, and I'll be saying so long until next week. And uh, as soon as I cut the camera off, I'm going to roll the next video and try to get it all up and ready so I won't be late next week. See ya.